to replace the Inspector General of Police, IGP Mohamed Adamu appears to be on, going by feelers from the presidency. Investigations by Sunday Independent revealed that there is intense pressure from top political leaders and top security officers across the country to relieve Adamu of his job. If the presidency caves into pressure, Adamu's tenure could be cut short because he is expected to retire statutorily from service on February the 1st, 2021. Sources at force headquarters, Abuja, alleged that Adamu was lobbying the presidency to extend his tenure. But there are strong agitations from senior officers working on the ground in consonance with the new police act to prevail on the presidency not to extend his tenure. However, a very reliable source close to the presidency confirmed that President Muhammad Buhari might have heeded the agitator's request and Adamu's tenure would not be extended. Those against it argue that the Police Act should take effect from the next IGP, citing Section 76 of the Act. Undercover investigations by Sunday Independent further revealed that Asorok Kabal is divided over the choice of the next Inspector General of Police. This indication became clearer as the presidency is believed to have received commendations of certain senior officers from different members of the cabal. It was gathered that there are four assistant inspector general of police, AIGs, and the commissioner of police, CP, who are believed to be strongly nursing the ambition and are making overtures to Asorok. It was reliably guarded, according to sources, that their names have been forwarded to President Buhari by some close aides to the president. While some have sent their CVs to the cabal through various connections, in particular, it was learned that the chief of staff to the president has received six, oh, sorry, has received CVs of some officers. The national security advisor and attorney general and minister of justice are said to have also received cvs of some officers similarly a powerful northern governor in is also said to be nursing hard for a particular officer one of the sources revealed discrete investigations also revealed that the presidency had plans to relieve Adamu of his position early this year. The reason of his planned sack was scanty one of was scanty, one of the sources said. It may be inefficiency in tackling crimes. While a presidency source described the reason as sacrosanct. However, feelers at the federal headquarters hinted that since he, Adamu, came on board, there was no remarkable innovation to tackle crimes. The sources added, he only helped on Interpol seminars. That is not what the government wants. Of course, we know he has a great link with Interpol abroad, but what the government wants and what Nigerians want are strategies to curb kidnappings, armed robberies, and high-profile crimes. The source was reminded of Operation Puff Adder and the community policing strategy initiated by the Inspector General of Police. The source said, it is not proactive enough. Are you not hearing of constant kidnappings in the North? especially on Kaduna highways and even in the southwest. 
It is a common knowledge that the Southwest leaders formed Amoteku to cop criminality in their region because they lost confidence in the Nigerian police. What positive result, what positive result has the community policing yielded? Are you not aware that some traditional rulers who are supposed to assist the police at the community level connive with their subjects to kidnap and collect randoms? We had such cases in Zamfara. Sunday Independent decided to embark on further undercover investigations and we can authentically reveal the details of those whose names have been pushed to the presidency for consideration. One of the AIGs being pushed forward by Asok Rok Kabal is from Yubi State, a Muslim. He is holding a sensitive portfolio in the HFHQ Federal Headquarters, a position that exposes him to most classified information in Nigerian police force. He is believed to have had a close link with the late Chief of Staff to President Buhari. The late presidential aide was said to have assured him of clinching the Inspector General of Police position. He has served in one of the states in the Niger Delta as Commissioner of Police. Some senior officers who spoke under strict anonymity described him as a jolly good fellow. However, a few officers reserved comments noting that he may not be firm enough to hold grip of the force. It is an open secret to many senior police officers that he has been nursing the ambition of becoming the Inspector General of Police over the years. A personal aide of the Inspector General of Police confirmed that even the Oga IGP is aware of his ambition. The second AIG is from the southern part of the country, a Christian. He, served, he has served as a CP in one of the northern states. He is also serving in the FHQ. He has a gigantic outlook, but close interaction with him reveals he's a likable officer. Some officers described him as a very intelligent and hardworking officer who is dedicated to the job and does not discriminate. He is said to be close to one of the former heads of state. A reliable source at the FHQ hinted that there is a cold war among the officers from the north over who succeeds at the moon. They are fighting among themselves, a source lamented. However, the approved police act has created a strong hurdle that may thwart the ambition of all the northern contenders. The act stipulates that any, so any officer that would be appointed IGP should have four years or more to serve in the force. Records at the first HQ and at the Police Service Commission indicate that all the northern contenders have less than three years in the force. The third AIG is from the north, a Muslim serving as a zonal AIG in the south south. The fourth AIG is also a zonal AIG from the same state as President Buhari. He is also a Muslim. The fourth contender is a commissioner of police from Kaduna State. He is a Muslim. He has served or he had served in the Southeast as a CP before he was moved to the FHQ where he heads Interpol section. Our discrete investigations revealed that he is among the 12 CPs recommended by the IGP to the police commission for promotion to the rank of the AIG. Investigations at the Police Service Commission revealed that he has a huddle. 
the PSC, that is the Police Service Commission, is said to is said not to be disposed to his case, insisting that there were many anomalies in the promotion of officers during the tenure of the former IGP Idris. When officers were said to have been promoted arbitrarily, the CP was said to have benefited by getting two promotions within a short period. A source at the Police Service Commission hinted that we will critically examine his case. We are studying all those promotions that were done without following proper procedures. The source also told Sunday Independent that if the President consults with the Commission on the next Inspector General of Police, they will advise him to consider an officer based on merit. An officer with proven ability to curb criminality who can also redeem the image of the force. The protest against SARS is a fallout of bad leadership, he said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.